So a Zen tangle is basically a new word for something that's been around for a long time. It means to create repetitive patterns with using lines and shapes. And there's two different ways that people do it. A lot of people use references of which you have. And in your reference, it'll show you step one, step two, step three, step four uh, to create a, an interesting pattern within um, your squares. Uh, there's lots of different ones that you can choose. Um, that's one way to do it. The second way is, and this is what the company that trademarked the term Zentangle recommends, is that you uh, get lost in your own doodles, basically. So we'll do both ways. I'll show you quickly an example of one. So looking at my reference uh, sheets here, I notice one that I'd like to try that is called uh, Keiko. So all you need to do is get your reference sheet and replicate it. So I'm looking at Keiko here in my box. I'm going to do the same thing that it does, which is basically um, repeating horizontal and vertical lines. And then where there is a horizontal, a vertical line, I'm just going to go horizontally and I'm going to repeat it. And it kind of, this kind of looks like a basket weaving to me. Um, but that's what it will look like. And you're going to go until you fill up the entire square. Um, I'm kind of doing mine quick and dirty, but you'll of course take a lot more time to make it look uh, amazing. And so the other way to do it is in one of your other squares is to come up with your own pattern, which I think this is a little bit more of the advanced way. And this is where uh, you can get lost in what you're creating. So all you need to do is uh, start drawing. Start drawing lines and shapes and then within different shapes you can use different lines. So I see I've created a shape there and I'm just putting some vertical lines. Maybe I'll add some dots alongside it. I could separate out uh, another section to create a whole different uh, look to the design. And I'm going to keep going until the whole square is finished, until I feel like I've really created an interesting pattern within this square. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these patterns as your reference sheet for when you create a, um, a larger piece of art. You'll have a lot of different designs to refer back to. Um, but it's really fun just to get lost in the art and um, create interesting patterns.